it's the same setup, guys, where um, with uh, Transformers, right? And Transformers, Michaela Baines, I think it's Michaela Baines, yeah, I think so. But Michaela, she doesn't even see uh, Sam Witwicky. In real life, she would never be with this man, right? This is, this is a nerd, unsure of himself, insecure, doesn't know how to communicate with women, right? He's completely nervous. And what happens? I love how they make the argument. She was, I think she was with her boyfriend, Trent, jock, right? And she says that I have a weakness for big arms and abs and all that. The guy's driving a nice ride and she wants to drive. I think she said something like, oh, let me drive. And he goes, oh, look, hold on. And he goes, no, let me uh, just sit in the back. You know, my little bunny sit in the back and she argues with him and walks away. She gets mad because he doesn't let her drive his car. This guy's got Chrome 22. He's got a newer car. Like, ladies, he doesn't have to let you drive. Even if you're his girl, it's his. You know what I mean? Maybe in the future you could, but... And she plays as this, like, 16-year-old girl. It doesn't make sense, right? I think she was 16 or 17. And it doesn't make sense. Now, she's walking, and you can actually see how Sam says, Hey, I hope, you know, he starts talking. She is just pissed off. You can see it in her face. She's mad. The only time it changes is when he goes, Hey, can I give you a ride? Oh, not, oh now she engages because you can do something for her. She gets in the car. He's talking. She ain't even listening to him. She says, I don't even know why I got I don't even know how I got here. And then that's the way it works. I love it because in the car, she goes, oh, this is your first year? You know, are you new? She don't even know who he is. She got classes with him. That's how invisible you are to the typical female, especially to a good-looking woman. See, guys, beautiful women never have to develop their inner qualities, okay? Because they're beautiful. They just get tons of men thrown at them. But the problem is this beautiful time, this era, this phase, it's designed to secure a husband. It's not set up so you can play and have fun and experiment and sleep around. This was the whole point. Like back then, men, women were married at 19, 20 years old. Men were getting prime steak. She's going right into her prime, right, where she gets most fertile. So it's easy. You don't have complications. Now, women after 30 now want to get with the simp. Hey, no, no, I won't, right? She'll ignore you when she's in her 20s. After she has all the fun and now she got multiple kids and debt and all kinds of trauma and insecurities and complications. And I'm a strong woman and masculine. Right, guys? Even the Bible talks about this, a quarrelsome or contentious woman. How are you going to have problems and issues? And this is the problem. Why does he, why does he change back into this uh, crappy Camaro and, you know what I mean? And then what does Bumblebee do? He changes up. He gets new and improved, right? He shows her tricks, which is a very typical male response. I want to show off. But it just goes to show you she's not even satisfied with it, right? Because looks are what? And to their important. Optics are important. I mean, guys, even though these movies are made up, I just want you to get some understanding of why the design is. With women, it's always like that. And the nice guy setup ties right into that. You have to understand that the nice guy is always going to lose because a woman can manipulate you and take advantage of you. And she goes, well, if you had options, you wouldn't be doing all these favors for me. Guys, men of value are too busy. Even if you have friends, I'm not saying you can't ever make, you can't ever um, do a favor for a female or son. But if your your default status is favors for females, that's a problem. Twenty four seven. Oh yeah, I'll give you a ride. Oh here here's money. She owes you twenty dollars. And then hey, can I get some more money? Well, hun, listen. You gotta tell her. Well, hun, you already owe me twenty. I can't be letting the money around. Let me get the twenty first, and then we could talk. You know, see what we could do later. But it's not something you want. That's not the norm. I'd rather go out and go have a good time. This is why I tell you guys that you go out on a few dates, right? Real quick. And then you find out, does she like me? No, okay, then we stop doing our dates. Then you invite her over to your place. Hey, let's hang out. If she's not, it, you win on both sides because if she's not interested. Guys, listen, if you can't get with a girl within three or four dates, you are not going to get with her 10 or 15. I mean, I'll say that too, especially as they get older. They'll have like three kids by, by a bunch of bums, right? And then they'll be like, no, I have a 10 date minimum and I want to take things slow. So let me get this right. We're going to go out and I'm going to spend all this money. And then you might, right? Go out with me or you might like me. It's not even a guarantee. At this point, you might as well buy it. Forget that. So this is where the mindset is in, okay? Now, guys, I have a, um, I'm going to do a scene breakdown on another, maybe another movie to give you some insight, guys, because I want men to understand um, what are the guys that understand women, what are they doing right? And the nice guys, what are they doing wrong? The nice guys go above and beyond. They do everything for the female. You got to understand, it's a numbers game. If a woman doesn't like you, that's okay. Just walk away. If she's looking for vanilla and you're chocolate, well, you got to go with her fishing for chocolate. Why are you going to stay around with vanilla? You're not going to get it. It's simple. She's looking out for a taller guy. There's some things you just can't do, guys. Now, you do have to focus on attraction. You have to build yourself up. Some men are losers, and they, they talk to a female. They don't know even how to keep a sense of mystery. Everything is an issue and a problem. 
So guys, focus on refutes law. The female is the one that says, hey, we're going to talk. You can benefit off me. But the benefit needs to be that I'm just around you. I'm enough. Guys, even the men that, like, you'll have rich, you have losers, right? Or dorks. And then they make money. They're, they're rich. They're, they're losers that have money now. They're, they're rich dorks now. Doesn't change the behavior. They're still simps. They're still wimps. Look at Will Smith. Look at guys like Russell Wilson. You know what I mean? I mean, guys, you got to understand, right? To a woman, you're a great man and a real man. Let me go out in a, in a see-through veil with a thong on. And I'm a mom, but if I can show it off, now you're a real man. No, no, he's not bad. That's like Lena the Plug. No, Adam, baby, what do you mean? No, Adam 22, he's he's a great man. He's not a simp. Of course, because you're letting her do what she wants. You think she's going to attack you and dog you after that? In her mind, she knows it. I got a loser, but he's got money. He's going to put me on the, on the helm and then, boom, put me on a drop and then I get rid of him. That's the way it works with all females, guys. If you allow yourself to be used, you will be used. This is why men have to be competent. They have to be confident. They have to be focused and driven and ambitious. And you've got to have a backbone. The opposite would be the epitome of a, of a pushover. If those of you who don't know what a pushover is, that's exactly what it is. A man that you push over, he's a nobody. You can use him and abuse him. Let me get this right, guys. You're going to beg a woman so you can pay her bills, to go out with her, to pay her for the date and, or to pay her bills? That's crazy. And then you can't control this woman. You can't tell her what to do. She does whatever she wants, messes up, and then blows it. And then you're supposed to just pick up the scraps and the pieces. For, for you, sex is when she feels like it, cooking when she feels like it. But no, no, you got to make sure you pay that bill. That You got to make sure you protect her. Time comes. When the problem arises, you got to fix it. See how refutes law works, guys? This is a very prime example. And you should be having this in the back of your head 24-7 when you're thinking about it. And you're learning about female nature. Okay? And guys, it's not like women are going to come out. And um, just like ask you for a favor. Okay, the way they ask, and they'll be like, hey, I was gonna call you earlier, but my phone's acting up. Oh, I wish, you know, oh, I, can't, I just can't catch a break, you know, it's always something. And then you, you'll you get the moment of silence. The moment of silence is for the nice guy. That's the whole point. It's for the white knight to come in and save the day. Because we wanna save the day. But you gotta understand, guys, we save assets, we don't save liabilities. You cannot no longer just do things. This ain't the 1920s. Women have changed. Now she's the modern woman. Okay, she gets modern treatment. She's no longer the traditional woman. Traditional women get different type of treatment. Women will be like, I'm a strong, independent woman. We're equal, but I want you to make more money than me and pay more bills than me. I'm like, so how are we equal? I want you to have more status than me, right? I want you to fix the problems and the issues. And right? Every time I need you, you got to be there. But when you need me, I'll decide if I be there. It's like women that be like, well, it's my body, my choice. That's fine. This is my wallet and my choice. This is my time and my choice too. If you want to play this game, we can play. That's how you got to be with females, guys. You cannot let this woman just play around with you. The Guys, when men and women interact, the man got to be in control. Women are, it's like intolerable when they're in charge and because they naturally dog you. They emasculate you. You can see this in parties when women are with, when they're with the, the savages or the thugs or the guys that, that are in the streets that kind of know the game. They have this backbone and this hardness about them. They kind of like learn their place. When they're with the simp and the nice guy, they're like, oh, yeah, we'll talk later. It's fine. So don't get upset about what women are. You have to adapt accordingly. I'm all about adaptation. That's part of the, one of the things I teach. I teach self-reliance, adaptation, and female nature. 101, right, guys? This is the basis. Then we get advanced levels. But you have to learn that women everywhere, women need help. It only seems like they're doing better than us because men don't get any help. Women get help everywhere you go. So that's part of the game, guys. Um, let me know, you know, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you guys think about it. And if I missed anything, uh, uh, let me know your feedback on it, all right? All right, guys, on to the next one.